The thing that I liked most about Michael Jordan as a player was the fact that I didn't have to try to guard him. <laughs> And on a chilly February night, a city of Chicago hot with anticipation for tonight's marquee game. Now, let's go over to tonight's public address announcer, Tommy Edwards. Greetings, everyone, from Chicago, the host of the 1988 All-Star Game. Alongside the terrific Clark Kellogg and our reporter David Aldridge on the sidelines, I'm Kevin Harlan. And Clark, this terrific city has produced some greats and four of them playing tonight. You're exactly right, Kevin. The Windy City, Chicago, has produced Mo Cheeks, Isaiah Thomas, Doc Rivers, and Mark Aguirre, all All-Stars, and I'm sure They've got plenty of family and friends in attendance to enjoy their performance on the court. Yep, so much to celebrate. And Clark, is there a common thread when you think about a Chicago-type player? Well, I certainly do believe there's a common thread. When playing outside or outdoors in the Windy City, the perimeter shot can easily get blown off course. So <laughs> you got to be able to get that thing to the rack and in a straight-line fashion and that's something all Chicago players share in common. A lot of high flyers, you're right. And your West All-Stars, Fat Lever and Magic Johnson, the guards, Alex English and Carl Malone at the forward spots, and in the middle, Hakeem Olajuwon. For the East, it's Moses Malone inside, and Dominic Wilkins with Larry Bird, the forwards. And in the backcourt, Isaiah Thomas and Michael Jordan. And you look at Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, rivals since college, Early on, no love lost between them, but over time, they've become friends. And the West will start out with the possession. To the inside, Elijah Watt. The vision of Magic Johnson is unsurpassed. And tonight's All-Star MVP will have a $5,000 check presented in their name, Clark, to the Thurgood Marshall Black Education Fund. A great cause in honor of a terrific American. Now Elijah Wan, following the three-point attempt by Michael Jordan. Clark, you see Larry and Magic together in those Converse ads. They've become really the faces of the NBA. And Kevin, I think they've inherited the mantle from the great Dr. J. He's done such a great job representing the league all these years, and certainly he's left it in good hands with those two. Yeah, that's a great comparison. Wilkins outside. Pass to Bird. Malone trying to break free. The shot's good from Bird. And Larry Bird winning three straight MVP awards from 1983 to 1986. You know who the last player was to do that? Um, I'm, I know I'm going back to the 60-something. You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> I it's know you Bill know. Russell. Yeah, right. It's of Bill course. Russell, 1960 to 63. Of course. I'm glad we bring him up. A legend. Yep. And Michael Jordan won the dunk contest last night, and man, was it great. What a thriller. He and Dominique Clark put on a great show, and you could tell they both wanted it so badly. Perhaps the home court advantage gave Michael Jordan Clark the edge. And there was another winner from last night, and that was Larry Bird taking home the trophy in the three-point shootout. And he didn't even need to take off his warm-ups to handle his business. Clark, somebody told me he looked at the rest of the competitors and said, okay, who's going to be in second place here? <laughs> who's going to finish behind Sounds me? Sounds just like him. <laughs> and the Eastern All-Stars favored to win tonight. Star power and firepower. Veteran IQ and smarts 
but you never know. The West has quite a bit of talent, too. Indeed, they do. And an exhibition game with plenty of motivation for these stars nonetheless. For more, let's say hello to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, I was talking to Larry Bird about his goals for the matchup, and he said, I think our job is to get the ball to Michael Jordan, get him into the game, and get the crowd into the game. So if Bird has anything to do with it, Michael Jordan will be the MVP. And that would be poetic justice this weekend. Guys, back to you. Especially where we are. Well said, David. Thank you. Jordan Clark, obviously, in front of his hometown crowd. He loves it, and they really love it. <laughs> no doubt about it, Kevin. You think about the fans in Chicago. They love basketball. And I can expect, and you can too, a ton of energy, some extra adrenaline anytime Michael touches the ball. Clark, this city is on fire with Jordan, aren't they? I mean, they love him, and they think about what's to come. My goodness. Smoking. Yeah. And Michael Jordan winning the dunk contest yesterday. Clark, can he add to his trophy case tonight? Kevin, I think his teammates want to see him win the MVP. I think they're going to give him as many touches as he needs to have a chance to do it. Ooh, that'll be fun to watch. Mm -hmm. So the timeout taken here, the first for the West All-Stars. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the West. They trail by nine points. Pass to Lever. Now Elijah Wan. Shoots over Malone. Elijah Wan with incredible footwork for a big man. And Clark, when you look at Akeem Elijah Wan's Houston Rockets, here is a team making a lot of moves. I tell you what, their trade for Joe Barry Carroll and Sleepy Floyd paying huge dividends. They're certainly on the rise in my mind. Yeah, a lot of people like those moves. Hey, Clark, the record for points in the All-Star game is 42, set by Wilt Chamberlain back in the 1962 All-Star game. And, you know, a lot of Wilt's records seem virtually untouchable, but I don't think that one is. With all these great scores, who knows? It might be broken tonight. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? Mm. Johnson with incredible athleticism and uses it to bully the defense there. It's his first trip to the line. First one falls for him. And some changes here for the East. Brad Doherty, he's checked in for Malone. Ewing comes in for Bird. And it's Rivers in for Isaiah Thomas. So an almost entirely new group now for the West. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Elijah Wan. Worthy comes in for Malone. McDaniels checked in for English. And it's Drexler in for Lever. And Kareem looking to set the career record for all-star scoring. Isn't that something? It really is. Needs just 10 points to do it, Kevin. And you got to love his chances. I mean, that's a layup for him, pun intended. Yeah, <laughs> a good one. And here is Abdul Jabbar. Dominique Wilkins getting his three to go. Here's Trexler. It's hauled in by the East. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the most all-star appearances by far in NBA history. Clark, an all-star in every season of his career except one. And in that year, he was injured. Yeah, and at 40 years of age, matter of fact, the youngest player tonight was only four years old when Kareem made his first All-Star appearance. Oh. That player, <laughs> Brad Doherty. No kidding. That's right. And it's Drexler missing. And here's the East. They're on an 18-6 run. Drexler against Jordan. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. And starting last season, Clark, Michael Jordan's scoring went through the roof. <laughs> Averaging over 37 points per game, partner, and he's kept close to that pace this season as well. He remarkable. A, uh, amazing and remarkable, right. Wow. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. The East All-Stars up on top. They lead by 12. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Welcome back, everyone, to the 1988 All-Star Game here in Chicago. As these great fans hope Michael Jordan can bring home the win and the MVP hardware.
And here are the East All-Stars now. And the head coach of the East, Mike Fratello. His first time coaching in the All-Star game. Rivers out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Dominique Wilkins. Then there's Ewing. And it's Bird in at the four. So that's who the East All-Stars start the second with. Malone finds Olajuwon. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Olajuwon's got eight points. How about that? Mike's a terrific friend of yours and mine. And Fratello's Hawks recently moved into first place in the East after the Cavs beat the Celtics. Clark enabling him to become the coach of the East All-Stars. So don't be surprised if the Cavs' Brad Doherty gets extended minutes in his first All-Star appearance. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. <laughs> <laughs> and here early, Clark, the East has the edge. You look at that team on the East squad, an embarrassment of riches, Kevin, and, you know, they've got so many. Oh, oh, my, what a point. Uh -huh. And Michael Jordan, not only last season's leading score by a mile, but Clark Kellogg this season, he is in the running for the Defensive Player of the Year. He is the true definition of a two-way player. Gets it done at a high level at both ends. Mm. Magic Johnson leads the league in assists, and he's also got the most assists in All-Star Game history. He processes the game at another level, folks. Harkin amidst this all-star celebration, labor negotiations between the players and the NBA Time continue. Out. Out. Trying to find their way through this current impasse, Kevin, and looking to avoid any interruptions to this game that we all have a love affair with. Yeah, I know you and I hope they can find some common ground. Please make it happen soon. Timeout called here. The West All-Stars decide to talk it over. And the East All-Stars making a change here. Thomas has checked in. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Keeps it alive, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. He's got 12. How about this list? Players who have never missed an All-Star game in their careers. Jerry West... Bob Pettit, Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, and Akeem Olajuwon. Those last three playing here tonight. And Coach Mike Fratello, a colleague of ours, coaching in the All-Star game, standing tall amongst a bunch of tall guys in the NBA. You know, his dad was an amateur boxer, and, you know, I think that background gives Mike a lot of confidence as a coach. Jordan against Lever. Great defense that time from Lever. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Boy, much respect for the defense of Jordan. I mean, he gives his all on this end of the floor. I mean, fantastic at getting his hands up to block shots. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And that sends Michael Jordan to the free throw line. It's going to be on Hakeem Olajuwon. And Clark, not easy for these coaches to put their stamp on the game. Only a one-hour practice yesterday to get acquainted and move through some sets. And you know, Kevin, it's not about necessarily practice time. A few offensive sets is all that's needed. I think it's how you manage the players and give them a platform to have fun and do what they do. That's a good point. throw good Jordan you know there's so much that's amazing to me about Jordan but his endurance stands out he consistently gets stronger it seems as the game goes on at the top of the key Malone and so it's going to be a three second violation out there on the defense the West All-Stars have been perfect at the line so far albeit just two for two and the technical free throw is good you know Johnson is really one of the more unique point guards that we've had in the game over the years and he's able to do it with style and substance. Donaldson, he's checked in for the West. Drexler comes in for Lever. Six to shoot. Releases from 15. Bank shot, no good. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Outside, Jordan. 
Michael Jordan showing the explosiveness that won in the dunk contest last night. And if there was a snub Clark for this year's All-Star game, many felt it was the sharpshooter Dale Ellis of the Sonics. Well, you take a look at what he's done. He's the only top 10 scorer in the NBA who was not an All-Star. Yep, the Tennessee Volunteers should be here. Here's what the East is going with right now. Doherty, he's checked in for Ewing. And McHale is subbed in for Dominique Wilkins. What's the up? West All-Stars also with a sub. Abdul Jabbar is checked in. Free throw good, Jordan. 149 left here in the second. And now let's go over to David Aldridge with a report on Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Thank you, Kevin. Kareem Abdul Jabbar is the oldest All Star in history. This is his 17th game. No one else has been in more than 13. To put that into context, there were six players in yesterday's Legends game that were younger than Kareem. Magic Johnson says he respects Kareem more than anyone I know because of the pride this man has in whatever he does. Kevin, back to you. He is a very proud individual. David, thank you. And Kareem's coming out here, Clark, after spending two days in bed with strep throat. I mean, it's remarkable. And, Kevin, that's exactly the pride Magic was talking about. And that's why it seems like every game we do, Kareem is adding to some type of record that he's already established tonight. He could very well become the leading scorer in the history of the All-Star game. Isn't that phenomenal? They call him captain for a reason. He is truly the leader of this entire NBA. Yes, sir. Shot clock at six. English on the wing. Defended by Bird. The East leading by 22. Jordan way outside. It's rebounded by Donaldson. And I'm sure he's surprised that one didn't go down. And when the jump shot has fallen for Michael Jordan, what can you do? He is unstoppable. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the West. Pass to Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar, a screen on Jordan. Another spoon-fed basket for Magic. And the 7-2 center from the Mavericks, James Donaldson. You know, I think he's the only lefty in this game. Larry Bird and Danny Ainge right left-handed, but they shoot it with their right hand. You and I have talked about this before, but defending a lefty is different than defending clearly a right-handed shooter. Throws you off just a little bit, Kevin. And so it's the East All-Stars holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. And with as many three-pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And we welcome you back to the second half of the 1988 All-Star Game here in Chicago. Great performances from these players, whether it's their first time participating or their 17th. The East leading by 22. You know, you get into the latter stages of the game, and it's normal to wonder who will take home the MVP trophy. It's certainly one of those accolades that's mentioned when you talk about the great ones. Getting underway here in the second half. Here's the five for Brad Nelson. They've got Malone. Lever is out there with Johnson. Then there's English. And it's Elijah Wan in at the five spot. Three-pointer. Good, and it's Malone picking up the assist. Jordan's got 41. In the open floor, few are better than Jordan. MJ can literally fly. And of the players in tonight's All-Star Game, Clark, two have won MVP trophies in this game before. Larry Bird and Isaiah Thomas. And how about this, Kevin? Thomas has won two out of the last four years. If he was to get three MVPs, that would put him in some rarefied air, tying with Oscar Robertson for second most. Bob Pettit is the only player to do it four times. And the East with the lead. Living up to that favored and top billing. And it's a new single game record in scoring for the All-Star Game. Set right in front of us by Michael Jordan. What an incredible athlete, Kevin. And it seems whatever he sets his mind to do, 
he can do it. Impressive. You know, and to put things simply, they've outworked the opposition on the glass, which is why they have this lead. There's the draw. Oh, oh, that was something to see. My goodness. Michael Jordan, MJ. It really doesn't get much better than this. 90 seconds now into the second half. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Superb anticipation on that rejection. And that will allow them to stay on the lead if they keep defending like that. So it's the West now. Lever taking his time here. Malone a screen on Thomas. Here's Lever. And you know, most of these guys are accustomed to having their team's offense built around them. It's an adjustment for them now to figure out who's going to get the rock most of the time. Their offense has really stood out. They're piling up the points and torching this defense. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Elijah Wan inside, guarded by Malone. It's good. Elijah Wan's got 16 points. And you think about it, Justin Clark, how about the all-star reserves? Guys that start normally are the stars of their team, now off the bench on a team of stars. Kevin, excellent point. For players who are used to starting the game, probably a rare experience coming in off the bench and trying to get it going. But I think these guys so enjoy being part of this. That sacrifice is not much at all. You're exactly right. Ewing's checked in for the East. Cheeks checks in for Thomas. The West All-Star is also changing it up. Nick Daniel comes in for English. And Clyde Drexler has subbed in for Johnson. You know, there's been talk about adding a third referee to NBA games. The commissioner and the rules committee are in favor of it. And they plan to put it before the board of governors at the next meeting. Cheeks from outside. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Jordan's got assist number five here tonight. And Maurice Cheeks Clark, the 6-1 playmaker for the Philadelphia 76ers. His third straight All-Star appearance, and he's had a total of four in his what looks to be on the verge of a Hall of Fame career. What a terrific defender. Yes, he is. Elijah Wan against Jordan. Jordan is doubled. Cheeks the pass to Jordan. Malone with the steal. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. They grab their own miss and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Jordan against Drexel. Here's Wilkins. It's slammed in by Wilkins. And Dominique Wilkins is the go-to scorer for the Hawks. No question about that. And he's embraced that leadership role as well. Obviously a huge part of the Hawks' success. And Clark, with three officials working games, do you think that'll result in more fouls being called, more eyes on the ball? They can pick up a lot more, certainly, with more guys out there. Yeah, you know, I think, Kevin, it might be the case early on with the third official, but over time, it'll smooth itself out off the ball. You know, some things you could get away with in the past, maybe not so much with three officials out there. Malone sets the pick for Lever. Ewing against Malone. He kicks to Drexler. Now the pass to Elijah Wan. Clock at four. To stop the drought, Malone with the block. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Jordan. Good and the nice assist from Wilkins. Wilkins has got three assists now in this one. And so it's Lever who brings up the ball for the West All-Stars. Inside, Malone with the steal. Here's Jordan. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Jordan's got 57 points. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair.
The East All-Stars up on top, delivering the blowout. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. Welcome back to Chicago for the 1988 All-Star Game. The grand finale of what's been a tremendous weekend to celebrate the NBA. You take a look at the landscape of the NBA, and I tell you what, that Central Division, dominant. How about this? 36 games above 500 combined. Michael Jordan is out there with Kevin McHale. Then it's Cheeks. Then it's Ainge. And it's Malone in at the five. So that's the five in the game for the East All-Stars. Jordan with the ball. And it's Johnson picking him up. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And that sends Michael Jordan to the free throw line. Magic Johnson picks one up. While well, you look at that Central Division, all six teams on base to make the playoffs. And you know, Chicago got off to that great start, Kevin. Then they cooled off just a bit. Now tied with Detroit at three games behind Atlanta. Those teams are graped up pretty good. Down the stretch here, the East Clark out in front. Getting it done. It's been such a fun game to watch. Entertaining from both sides. Woo, it sure has been. Stolen by Drexler. And it's sent back by McHale. And so it looks like it'll be still with the West All-Stars. Here's Trexler, and it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got six rebounds now in the game. Over Aguirre, and that one's on target from the wing. Jordan's got five points in the quarter. Catching the defense off guard that time with the pull-up. Jordan too good off the dribble. And it's the West All-Stars ball. Aguirre with it. Johnson at the elbow. Hits the jumper in space. Nine points for Johnson. And Magic Johnson, Clark, made it clear coming into this game that he wanted the challenge of defending the great Michael Jordan. He certainly did. And the West, as a team, will certainly have their work cut out for him trying to slow that guy down. That is going to be fun to watch. And after the Central Division, the Midwest has been the second most competitive division. Those teams are sitting at 10 games over 500. Really left alone that time. And the Mavericks' Mark Aguirre actually got married last night. How about that? A big weekend for the DePaul product. Cheeks the pass to Jordan. Off target with his three. And Clark in the Midwest, those Rockets are really making a push. And they're doing it behind Akeem Olajuwon. To me, he's the best center in the NBA. They certainly got a chance to give the Lakers a run for their money. Oh, yeah. Dives to the hoop. And Jordan throws it down. Hey, when Jordan is cutting to the cup, he's locked in on throwing it down. The D doesn't have a chance at denying him that chance. Johnson, a wide open look. Got it from 16 feet. Magic Johnson in his eighth All-Star game now. Second in All-Star votes this year. And he hosts his own All-Star game in the summer in L.A. as a fundraiser. And I understand... It's quite an event. Well, they have been raining threes here in the second half. Drexler dishes to Johnson. Back to Drexler. Stolen by Ainge. Here's Jordan. And it's Jordan slamming it down. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. So it's the West now. Now the feed to Johnson. Tries from 10. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. And stolen by Jordan. Banked in off the glass. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. 141 left in the game. Drexler passes to Johnson. 
to halt the run. Here's Worthy. And it's the East with the rebound. Jordan's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Took him no time at all on that one. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Johnson finds Worthy. Another miss by Johnson. This offense has been dynamic and diversified. Everybody sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you really hard to defend. Tell you what, until they force him off the line, he'll just keep launching it from there. I love the aggression he's showing. Johnson inside. Jordan's there. Looking to keep it rolling. Stay on the attack and keep playing the right way. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the West. Here's Trexler. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And if there's a rival for the size and athleticism of Michael Jordan Clark, it might just be Clyde Drexler. I don't think there's any question about it, Kevin. The Phi Slamma Jamma alum can take flight with the very best of them. Yep, great athletes. Patrick Ewing's checked in for the East. The West also making some changes. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Donaldson. Nick Daniel comes in for Clyde Drexler. And Leavers subbed in for Johnson. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the fourth. They set the pick. Lever with it. He's picked up by Ewing. Four on the shot clock. Xavier, Xavier, Xavier. Hey. Here's Donaldson. Got it off in time and beat the shot clock, but it's no good. Jordan right side. Lays it up off the glass. And you know, Jordan loves muscling in through contact. Takes a lot of pride in overcoming all challenges when he's taking the ball to the hoop. And the Eastern All-Stars deliver. The favorites coming in. Clark, they did not disappoint. Yeah, you looked at that team on paper, and you saw they were the stronger team and should have been favored. But you still got to go out and prove it. And they did exactly that. And so much scoring in that lineup for the East. My goodness, look at those names. That's, that's always going to be tough to stop. And you factor in the raucous crowd cheering on Michael Jordan, Kevin. No wonder they found that extra gear they needed when it was time to get it done. That's a good point. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. And we'll see you next time. You know when Michael Jordan has come to town, so you always wanted to get a good night sleep, a good night rest, something good. Cleveland leads Chicago inbounds. What can the Cavaliers do? The Cavs try to deny Jordan the ball. Oh, oh, with the steal. Goodness, the Bulls throw it.
All right, Coach, Cleveland leads Chicago inbounds. What can the Cavaliers do? The Cavs try to deny Jordan the ball. They actually two-on-one him without the ball. Elo trying to catch back up. The shot's up. No, he misses. Cleveland is one in game five in the first round. All right, Coach, Cleveland leads Chicago inbounds. What can the Cavaliers do? The Cavs try to deny Jordan the ball. They actually two-on-one him without the ball. Elo trying to catch back up. The shot's up. No, he misses. Cleveland is one in game five in the first round. All right, Coach, Cleveland leads Chicago inbounds. What can the Cavaliers do? The Cavs try to deny Jordan the ball. They actually two-on-one him without the ball. Elo trying to catch back up. The shot's up. No, he misses. Cleveland is one in game five in the first round. All right, Coach, Cleveland leads Chicago inbounds. What can the Cavaliers do? The Cavs try to deny Jordan the ball. Oh, my God. with the steal. Goodness, the Bulls throw. All right, Coach, Cleveland leads Chicago inbounds. What can the Cavaliers do? The Cavs try to deny Jordan the ball. They actually two-on-one him without the ball. Elo trying to catch back up. The shot's up. It's good. Oh Michael gosh. Jordan. Wow. Coach, a game five winning shot. Doug Collins off the bench, and the Bulls have won. You can never, ever count Michael Jordan out.